Qualified buyers only till April 3rd. Yes, it's the Monday edition of the Kiss Root Awakening. Today's uh, back to school day for a lot of folks. Kind of a grisly day, you know. It's the kind of day you've been dreading for a week now, isn't it? Yeah, and here we are back, uh, back at the Radio Ranch also. By the way, the tape is rolling. This is the Kiss Rude Awakening. We're 99.5 Kiss, the home of rock and roll in San Antonio. The tape you're referring to, mm -hmm. you want to tell everybody what we're doing. Okay, let's do it like this. Uh, I'll let somebody else tell you. Last week, uh, Gene Elder, the guest curator of the San Antonio Museum of Art, made this announcement on Kiss FM. <laughs> it's pretty uh, kind of a, a momentous announcement. Well, what he did is he said that uh, we would be included in a time cap. So we're having an, another tape problem, which will clear up. Right now, this, pro <laughs> this program is a hell of a way to start. Yeah, I'm a little embarrassed right now. Uh, the program's being recorded to be included in the time capsule. This is going to be opened in the year 2181. And so we're saying uh, thanks to the Museum of Art for allowing KISS to be a part of history of art in San Antonio. Here's, here's Gene Elder making the announcement. Hey, Craig and Steve. I just want to uh, congratulate you for being the only radio station for the Rude Awakening and being in the time capsule at the San Antonio Museum of Art. And be sure to remind everyone to see the exhibit before it comes down by the end of the month. All kinds of uh, artwork will be included in uh, the time capsule, as Gene just told you. And it's going to be up through the end of the month, as he said. And then they're going to take all the artwork, including this tape of the Rude Awakening, wow. and uh, put it right there in the time capsule to be open in the year 2181. Uh, thanks to Gene Elder at uh, SAMA, Linda Llewellyn, uh, Nan Kelker, all terrific people. We also got to say a uh, quick thanks to the people at uh, R&R Importers. Mm -hmm. They gave us a free cassette machine, which is going into the time capsule, so that uh, way up there in the future, they'll be able to play this tape and say, were they ever primitive? That's right. It, they'll, they'll listen to the tape that didn't work with Gene Elder's voice on it and go, hey, they were so human, weren't they? Just <laughs> making little mistakes like regular people. Uh, on this Monday morning, March 26, 1984, nukes are in the news, and Bill Crowley has the report. At least 30 protesters arrested Sunday at the Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant in California. They hauled a 10-foot replica of the reactor to the gate of the plant with seven protesters locked inside. Police wouldn't take the Trojan horse inside, but they had to dismantle it to get the protesters out. Hundreds of demonstrators cheered, suggesting the real Diablo Canyon also be taken apart. The plant's owners are expected to get permission today to start low-power testing. By the way, folks here in Texas in the year 1984 are worried about nukes, but Steve North says another energy source is causing Texans to have some sleepless nights. Residents of Hereford, Texas are thumbing their noses at plans to build an electrical plant that'll be powered by manure. Officials say the manure stockpiles will be dry and odorless, but Monty Adams is not convinced. You've got 41 people that live within a half a mile of the plant site. The manure pile, from what they've told us, could be up to 23 acres in size and up to 30 foot tall. It's approximately 300 yards from my front door. One official says he doesn't understand the concern, pointing out that manure is not an unusual odor in that area. In any case, residents will get to air their concerns at a meeting tomorrow night. Okay. <laughs> Steve North from the source. Okay, so, so they have a few cows around. That doesn't mean they want to put 23 acres of manure in their front yard. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, something else. If we could just power this country off the hot air from campaign promises, huh? Ah. Well, Gary Hart's campaigning in Connecticut on the day before the state's presidential primary. I guess this will all be history in the year 2181. Uh, Hart's hoping to make a sweep of the New England political contest. Now, Jesse Jackson and Walter Mondale looking for support, of course. 52 delegates uh, to be selected in those races. Kiss Sports Shorts. Uh, tomorrow, the San Antonio Spurs will host the Golden State Warriors. In exhibition baseball yesterday, the Twins 7, the Astros 5. Kansas City Royals beat the Rangers 4-3. to mm -hmm. And there's the uh, first newscast to be heard on the time capsule recording of the rude awakening described over the weekend by Jeannie Jekyll, a newspaper columnist, as wildly irreverent. <laughs> That's what she called our show? Wild, was it irre irrelevant? No, irreverent. <laughs> wildly irreverent. It's mild compared to what I was expecting. Mm, it's okay. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, on the way, Blue Oyster Cult, Quiet Riot, Van Halen. I hope they'll like heavy metal in the year... Uh, what? 2181. Okay, well, I'm sure they will. Get ready, okay? I popped into the future with my TARDIS to witness the opening of the time capsule, and I've got some bad news for you, chap. Sure. The world was destroyed in the year 2175 by the Fun Tower and Battle Fleet. <laughs> Sorry. I'm glad you escaped. Kiss, hello. Wake up. Spring break's over. <laughs> no kidding. No kidding. Wow. This is it, eh? You're headed back, huh? Yeah. What, like what? uncool, no? What school are you going to? 
like the great San Antonio College on North Main. Oh, are, wow. Like <laughs> heavy education. I mean, like they throw just metal flakes of education into your brain. They pump it in magnetically. It's really cosmic. It sounds kind of, it sounds kind of easy. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of like playing like a vacuum cleaner and going around sucking it all up. And uh, the girls really enjoy it when I'm uh, just going around sucking it up. So <laughs> I enjoy it, too. Hey, have a wonderful week at school. Well, hey. Like, I hate Mondays. Do you, For sure. Do you, like, have the, the tune I'm thinking of? Yeah, I got it right here. Well, hey, it sounds pretty rude to me, doesn't it? Not? Kiss in the year 1984. This is the one that outrocks the rest. Tonight at 10.30, you can talk to this guy live on the Kiss Rock Line. Sammy Hagar on Kiss. 99.5 Kiss and the Rude Awakening. I thought that would fit in for our time capsule hour today. (laughs) My town, San Antonio. Yours too, 729 on the Kiss Rude Awakening. We've got a whole hour that we're taping here, and it's going to the people in the year 2181. It's going into a time capsule out of the uh, San Antonio Museum of Art on Jones Avenue off Broadway. You can go and check it out till the end of the month. We're also uh, putting in a cassette recorder that came from R&R Importers. That goes with the tape, so they'll be able to check it out. You can give us a call at 470-KISS if you have a message for the future. Like a lot of people thought, they'd be interested in this song. I don't know. (laughs) Here's Fred Blassie on Kiss Comic Relief. Back when I was a kid, life was going swell.